Well, we're off to Tynecastle now and another side in need of a home win. Hart, six matches without a victory. Motherwell in town without their number one striker. Hearts without a win in six, and Craig Levine shakes things up with Randall, Cowie, Moore and Laverty replacing the suspended Brandon and benched Milinkovic, Gonsalves and Stockton. Stephen Robinson has problems, goalkeeper Carson is out, as is influential defender Hartley and top scorer Moult, Griffiths, McHugh, Freed and Fisher in a rare appearance come into the side. He's without the backbone of his side, Stephen Robinson, it's a difficult place to come at the best of times. The corner comes in. It was Boabin who got his initial head to it. Zoom to Randall. Laverty. And again. The Hearts will be desperate for the three points today. Not once under Ian Cathro did they go seven without a victory. And that's what's staring them in the face today if they don't pick up the three points. Kyle Laverty had a couple of swings at that. Here's Suter. Long ball comes right through to Moore. Well, what a goal that would have been for the youngster. It's a great ball by Randall. The man on loan from Liverpool. Moore volleys over. Milinkovic chasing that. Come on for Jamie Walker. Here's Cowie, and Lafferty will get on to that. Keeper for company. Lafferty shrugs him off. It's Kyle Lafferty! Hearts lead! And it's a tenth of the season for the Northern Ireland International. The Motherwell will feel they should have dealt with it a bit better. First Campbell, who lost the ball, and then Keeper. Well, Lafferty didn't look as though he was favourite initially. But Hearts have an advantage now in a game of few chances. Well, the last few games here at Tynecastle have all been draws. Three defeats before that for Hearts. That's why they need the victory today. Shout for handballs, the corner swung in. And the referee's Andrew Dallas isn't interested despite being in a good position. There's Tanner over the set piece again. Keeper was there. Well, Motherwell came from behind to beat Hearts at Fir Park earlier in the season. As the Jam Tarts give it away very cheaply. It is Keeper. Well, it's not a bad strike by Cedric Keeper. John McLaughlin delighted to see that flash over. It was okay in spells. Yep. Um, overall, it was a bit of scrap. Um, but Motherwell uh, are difficult to play against, and it's hard to, to play through their press and deal with the, the balls in the box constantly. But I thought that uh, the lads managed to do that pretty well today. There wasn't a lot in it at all. You know, um, they've won the game with two slips. <laughs> Cedric Kipper slipped on the pitch, and, and Corn McHugh's come in and slipped behind him. Um, I believe Laugh handled the ball and pulled it round in the middle of the goal, but I haven't seen it. So, um, but look, he should never be scoring from that angle. There was absolutely nothing in the game. We just need to keep going and doing what we're doing uh, on a weekly basis in training and, and on, on the field, and things will turn for us, I'm sure. Uh, and today, we got, we got the reward for the efforts that we put in, and, and sometimes that's all I ask for. Yes, Kyle Lafferty with the goal. Hearts get the win. Um, bit of chat about the goal, Stephen. Should it have stood? Yeah, it should have. I think Motherwell were disappointed that they thought there was a foul in the lead-up to the goal, and then the ball comes off of uh, Kyle Lafferty's arm. Here's the Alan Campbell in the middle of the park, and they've zoomed in on it. I mean, that's a foul, if you ask me. The referee's in a good position. But anyway, they play on. It's good movement from Lafferty. It gets yeah. into really good area. The ball does Handball. come off his arm, but you know, there's absolutely no way that's deliberate. Sure. And then the queue wipes out Keithy with a, with a challenge. Um, so there's a couple of incidents within the goal. It would have been a soft foul, to be honest, this one. But, the, you know, Motherwell could have a point that it might have been a foul. Here's Lafferty's movement in behind his point. He knows where he wants to go. And then he gets the wee uh, luck of the, the break off the arm. Yeah. Um, and it's actually a decent finish in the end. Michael, how much did Hearts need this win we all know about the huge the, the winless run they were huge on huge victory you know obviously having not won in six games three points is really all that uh, mattered yesterday you heard you know Stephen Robinson there saying there wasn't much in the game 
This is the, what's been going on in the last few weeks. Late goals, this one against uh, Kilmarnock. And this one against Partick Thistle, where Craig Levine was complaining about the handball that uh, came yeah. off the, the, the Partick Thistle player. But they, are, they changed their back three later on. There's the, the back three in place, the two wing backs of Smith and Moore. And they made sure they were difficult to, to uh, break down. And whenever it came at that final third, they were on the front foot to go and close it down. Here's the desire from Milinkovic to get back into shape, get goal side. And then you see Motherwell just thumping the ball forward. It was a poor game. A really poor game yesterday, not much in between the teams. But as I said, when Hearts got that goal up, they made sure they weren't going to be broken down. Again, pressure on the ball. You see the two players there out wide, making sure that they're not going to throw a ball into the box easy. And then you've got all the rest of the team affecting the game deep, only Lafferty up the top end of the park. In this instance, you see the back five, two in front, three in front of them. That's everybody from the Hearts team in their defensive third and shuffling across making sure whenever the ball does eventually come in that they win the first ball and they get on the second ball first as well. And uh, you know that's the reason why you know they, they got the, the three points in the end. Here again, fired into the box, they win the headers. And um, you know, Hearts are a side that are, are lacking in the final third. I don't think there's any doubt about it. But when they get that goal up, they made sure they didn't concede because they've done that in the last few weeks and they've lost points off the back of it. From a motherwell point of view, Stephen, I think the general narrative has been that it's been a great season so far, but uh, recent form's not well, been the they've best. Been struggling a wee bit, you know, only four points from 18 in the league. Yes, they've had a couple of hard fixtures in there, but you know, with Louis Mo now out as well, he's their main tallies man. Yeah. Definitely lost uh, the momentum that they built up earlier in the season.